Hello everyone and welcome to my podcast. You're listening to Sarah Finna Speaks Little Girl Big Questions. The show that delivers you my take on topics that are important. I'm your host, Serafina Marlena Durban. Let's go right ahead to the show. Hello everyone, Serafina here. I hope you're keeping going, even though it's pretty hard at the moment. One of the things that are tough is homeschooling. And I promised you I would tell you the truth about my homeschooling experience. And of course, listeners, I got questions. Before I start, I have a couple of shout-outs. Thank you to everyone that sends me emails telling me to keep on going. It makes me happy that you're enjoying my episodes. First of all, I had an email from someone called Natalie who told me my podcast is brilliant. Her email was a big surprise because I met her when I was in the tiny incubator as a baby. I don't remember you, Natalie, from those days. But can you tell Zach and Zanda I hope they're enjoying being at home? My next person to say thank you to is Sarah. Mummy read your long letter to me. I got excited when you told me Betty won't know how to do things when she leaves home, but that I will. I hope Betty isn't listening to this, because I'll be in a spot of trouble if she is. But anyway, Sarah, you sound like a strong, kind woman, and I hope we meet one day. (laughs) Listeners, I don't know why I thought homeschooling would be a nice subject. I don't have a lot to say, because I'm not doing it. I don't really know what homeschooling is. My mummy isn't a teacher. Every morning I say mantras. When I'm feeling hopeful, I tell everyone they're precious and I love them. And I like to make sure my family know how special they are. My favourite question is, what's it like to be you? I've discovered there's a good moment to ask this. Seven in the morning isn't okay. Eight in the evening isn't okay. So I try to time it just right. Are my mantras and questions like learning for philosophy? I don't know, perhaps you could tell me. Then I count my money. I have a felt purse which is beautiful, but the zip broke on it. I like counting my money, and we often play games with it. I added up my brother's hide it, which annoys me. Mummy says when we play shops that it's as good as maths. What do you think? Then there's baking. I choose the recipe from books, collect ingredients, weigh things, then put it all together. Sometimes what I make is a disaster. But it's not the result, is it? It's the experience. And by the time I'm grown up, I'm sure I'll be able to cook loads of things that people can actually eat. Listeners, at least I get a lot of exercise running in the woods. I'm playing water fights with my brothers. We spend a lot of time together because we're triplets. It's obvious that I would like a rest from them. But it's not much different from school. When I'm there, I think about having time away from people. Perhaps it's normal to want to be on our own when we're surrounded and to be with people when we're on our own. These are the kinds of questions I'm having this week, or the longest weekend in the world. That's what I'm calling lockdown. I got a little feeling that homeschooling is all about me learning to be more me, and I'm certainly doing that. Probably the best homeschooling thing for me has been starting this podcast, and I'm truthfully grateful to you for listening in. I hope you want to listen in next week when I talk about pets. My loyal listener Collie emailed me asking if I want to talk about them. I can't wait to tell you what I think. It's a much funner topic than homeschooling, even though I chose homeschooling to talk about. Listeners, in case you forget, you're very precious, whether you're homeschooling or not. Well, that's it for this week. Bye, listeners. Stay safe. Wow, I hope you enjoyed the show, everybody. If you like what you hear, click the subscribe button.
This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to check the show notes. Leave me a review wherever you listen to your podcasts because then more people can find my podcast.